All right. Hi. My name is Dean of the Ink Guild. I am the executive producer, lead content director, and video editor for the Ink Guild. And we are a group of creative writers based here in Canada, each with our preferred genres of interest and methods of storytelling. And we have a story to share with you. Like any good story, we should probably start at the beginning. It was around February where I first joined, joined a creative writing class. I befriended a good number of people from that class. There was this little section in between T-Wing, or in between the O-Wing and the second floor of MRU. There were some of the creative writing people there at the time and we basically stayed and stayed there talking until like eight, nine at night. But had I known what would happen next, maybe I could have had a decent, or maybe I could have had another conversation because suddenly I wouldn't be seeing them for a while. And to be fair, it looked like the rest of the world wasn't going to be seeing anyone for a while. Fast forward, I think a couple days, everyone is in lockdown and not everyone is doing too great. I remember me just sitting there or like sitting in my bed without really much to do. I was very, very, very bored. <laughs> and could only really cycle through so many books and draw and write and there was only really so much that I could do before I eventually just stared up at the ceiling, maybe played with the color or with the lights in my room. But when I realized that classes were going to start again, I was like, Oh man, I was, I don't think I was ready. I don't think I was ready to adjust to that yet, but I could join the creative writing class again. Give it a couple weeks since I had first joined or since I had first crashed that initial class. That was when I really wanted to keep in touch with these people. So we created a discord server. Slowly, but surely we had, or I got, enough people into the class and it really, really popped off. Like everyone was participating in conversation. There were, there was a lot of discussion. And what I really valued was that everyone was now sharing their stories, not just for the creative writing, creative writing workshops, but for just our intent, for our enjoyment. You know, we could read these stories outside of the class and enjoy our writing styles that we have all come to slowly appreciate. I was on a call with uh, Gabe, who, you know, he and I, it was a late night and he and I were just talking about video games. I think just how natural the chemistry was and how organic it was to have a conversation with the, with the fellow creator writer and especially a friend. I think we collectively decided to do something about it. How's it going, everybody? My name is Dean, and this is the Ink Guild podcast. I'm joined by my, I'm joined with my very good friends, um, Gabe and Jessica. Do you guys want to say hi? Hey. Cool. Basically, the Ink Guild podcast is a or is a roundtable comedic podcast that focuses on our opinions on not just creative writing topics such as you know genres, tropes, um, you know what we hate, what we don't hate, all that stuff, but it's also 
I guess, personal video diaries for our stories. How, how these podcasts are done is we basically think about topics about what, like a couple weeks a week in advance, or at least how it is now. Like I would probably pitch an idea. Everyone would either weigh in, say yes, no, or whatever. And we would all meet through Discord to start recording. First of all, the key to editing a creative or a comedic creative writing podcast is to edit it late at night because you're a university student and you don't have any sleep. <laughs> Part two is to pick out your favorite music, plug that into your very expensive headphones that you didn't really need to spend that much money on. <laughs> and step three would be to then edit your voice and the voices of your friends. <laughs> right, I guess basically step three is to edit the podcast. Yeah, that works. The constant gain definitely helps transition better into a different topic. When we were first editing the podcast, it was very much just, it was more or less just piecing everything together. The first few episodes of the podcast pretty much followed that formula where it wasn't super creative, or at least it wasn't as entertaining as I could have made it been. But once we eventually found a good formula to um, record, not only were we more comfortable, or not only were we more comfortable speaking, but editing wise, it became a lot more fun. Visual jokes, um, cutaways, I think. Basically, whatever tips that I could start to make an hour long um, static, or basically what was an hour long uh, recording of static footage. How could I make that? In how could I make that interesting? I've added in a couple new things to, like, to a recording to make it a little bit more intuitive. So, for one thing, um, we're recording straight onto our background, <coughs> which isn't a little thing, but it does help kind of with like consistency sake. And also, we now we now have an overlay which shows us whenever we speak. I guess personally, I always figured that we couldn't just be limited to doing, you know, to speaking on hour and a half, almost two hour episodes. So our first video outside of podcasting was a funny moments compilation called Ink Guild's Funny Moments, joking about the Throne of Glass series. And I say joking because we are too small to say roasting yet. And the Sarah J Mass fandom is vicious. <laughs> In the yes. second book! In book two! Books. I knew that, but you actually like this character? That's even better. That's even better. Yeah. I think he was another character. Wait, 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 wait. Are we telling him spoilers? You can, t you can tell me spoilers if they don't relate to the only character okay. that I care about. <laughs> Alright. And this is my favorite character. She's my favorite character. Manon would be a second and then a lead, and then everyone else can, I don't know, go f themselves. Like, like the vegetable. Yeah. You cannot look at this fucking bomb ass character and convince me that she would settle for a man. Looking back at that first at that first video, it was definitely a step up from the kind of content that we had been doing before because it it for on my end at least it was a lot more demanding to edit you know trying to incorporate jump cuts flying jpegs and you know really making sure that the joke that we were making at the time had some kind of nice visual effect to what was eventually just a discord call the one that i really enjoyed the most um recording was a or it was part one of a series that we have on our channel called the Ink Guild Reads. And if any of you have seen it, I kind of introduced it in the video, so. Hi, I'm Dean of the Ink Guild, and this is gonna be a disaster. The first part to the Ink Guild Reads was just, was it? It was me, Gabe, Alex, and Marie Soleil, basically just roasting our old work. And <laughs> it's it was uncomfortable doing that, because Collectively, I think all of us, we have this agreement that 
we know our old work is supposed to be the first draft basically so like we know that it's supposed to exist for us to get to where we are now but that didn't help the cringe <laughs> it really 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 didn't i've seen into the universe's eye <laughs> i'm not sure what's scarier you scarier. being on a first <laughs> yeah that's a great spelling <laughs> that's that great spelling <laughs> thank you thank you you being on a first name facet with my parents <laughs> It sounds to me like Tyler's the biggest slut in this small, small <laughs> With those two videos, not only did I find, or not only was it really fun to record, but that's when I knew that there was more to this channel than I initially thought. There's a beauty in conversing with people that understand writer's block or understand, they understand why some people light candles whenever they're writing or like they understand hoarding like piles of notebooks full of store ideas. They understand, you know, they understand like drinking tea to keep yourself awake late at night to make sure your ideas were flowing. Like no one in my life at that point, and this is not to dig on anybody, but no one in my life on that in, um, up until this point really understood that. When you listen to our episodes and when you watch our funny moments or whatever, my goal at least is to make sure that everyone understands just what or just how amazing storytelling can be because for us that's you know for us that's at the heart of it really like we all became friends because because in some way we're all very passionate storytellers and the ink guild is our platform to do that like i had said in the beginning the wasn't exactly a good scenario that we, you know, it wasn't exactly the ideal scenario that I would have wanted for a YouTube channel to be started, but it's part of our story, right? Who would have thought that a pandemic would be bringing together a group of friends that have such a passion for storytelling? It's an origin story I don't think I could have come up on my own. <laughs>